Cliff is to be uh, the uh, tutor responsible for the certificate year. That's the first year. And uh, it's a joy at the beginning of the year to, to see who God will bring in. And uh, even at this stage, we don't quite know who's going to be coming in September. And uh, we, we know that people always come just with a few weeks to spare sometimes. And it may well be that there's people here tonight for whom you don't recognize it, but God wants you here at Cliff in September. It may well be people. Some people may have gone to the Senate at some place this afternoon. And there may be people here tonight, I'm feeling, that, that God will call to come in September this year, perhaps, to join us. And if that's you, then I'd love you to go and chat to one of the people on the stand in the exhibition tent before you go home. But one of the guys who came last year to be a first year is our good friend Tom Hardwick, who's going to share something of his story with us now. So give a warm welcome to Tom, please.
not what I thought. And, you know, when Jesus came, the way Jesus came into my life is what something my dad said to me. He said, Tom, I want you to be a Christian because I want my family to live in heaven with me, with Jesus, forever. And that touched me so much. And that sentence brought me to know Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's awesome. <laughs> You know, I changed in the following years. I was more confident, I was more joyful, and I put my faith in Jesus. I had a hope. And you know, throughout the period, my attitude to my disability changed so much. I realised that actually, none of us know how long we've got to live. We should live for today. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Give God the glory every day, we should. I realised that. I realised that God could use me. Through my sort of joy, in spite of the circumstances, um, my desire to clear for obstacles, um, that, I know, brings glory to God. And that's where it did. He brought his bringing glory to his soul through my disability. And in Christmas 2008, I was called here mm. to Cliff College, a place that three years previously, or four years previously, I said, I'm never coming to Cliff. <laughs> what do I know? But yeah, so basically I was reading my Bible, and there's this scripture that says, what you're thinking of doing, do it for God is with you. And that's Nathan speaking to um, David in Chronicles 1.17. Um, so I thought, all right, God, just give me a confirmation. So a family friend we knew, not a family friend, a friend we knew, we yeah, family friend, church friend, um, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, just keep talking, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he sort of like um, tells about a word he had. Um, he'd been planning to go to Bible college, then he left it for a year, and he got a job offer. And basically, the word he got was what you were thinking of doing a year ago. So if God is with you, so I thought, okay. God could be speaking to me, what kind of another one, or just another confirmation. As, and God did. <laughs> and he just, I was just like, listening to a preach, um, going on at my church, and the guy who was preaching called John, at the last minute he put one particular verse in his preach that he wasn't going to. Can you guess what that was? <laughs> what are you thinking of doing, do for God is with you? I was like, Oh, I guess I'll have to, won't I? I'll have to go to, I'll have to, go to Cliff College, won't I? I mean, I was going out at the time when he said it. I was like, and then my dad and I, he was like, look, Tom, he's just said something here. So, yeah, I did it. I did fill out what I needed to fill out to, like, have a day here. Um, so I came. And God gave me one more um, um, confirmation. Sorry to do this, Nathan Loxley. I've got to say it last time, I've got to say it again. Um, Nathan Loxley, a student here, led, led me through the door. I thought, Nathan, he's the one that spoke to David. So I think, yeah. <laughs> Let's go for it. Come on. And that's how God led me to Cliff. And for the first week in September, um, when I came to Cliff, I was like, what am I doing here? What are you doing putting me here, Lord God? It's like these crazy people. Um, I've got no GCSEs or A-levels, I've, got, I've been at a special school for like years and the standard wasn't as high there. What are you doing, Lord God? I can't come here, it's just ridiculous, Lord God. So I thought, but yeah, he brought me here and he's done amazing things <coughs> through me. I really realised that where God calls, he really provides. Because I've been getting like grades that I never thought I could get. Never in my own strength. <coughs> like not in my own hopes or dreams could I expected to get those results. But I got them. Thanks be to God. And I praise him. And you know what? God's been making it allow me to do more than I've ever done prior to here. Um, this is a verse that I got um, 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 on mission and it really sums it up about me doing more than I did at first. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and your perseverance and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Revelation 2, 19. I was like, oh Lord, that is... Whoa! <laughs> I love your word, Lord God. It's amazing.
amazing. And you know, in the last year, God has changed me dramatically. Um, I can stand up here without my heart beating really fast. Um, I can sort of just stand here and be like, yeah, God's changing me so much. It's absolutely incredible. And you know what? It's changed me from not particularly doing anything to like being a mission, praying for people. Um, I wish I'd been doing a festival. These amazing things that I could never have hoped or imagined to do. Um, I want to just say this. Um, I'm a conqueror in the name of Christ Jesus, my Lord. So battling MD, I am still here, <coughs> pushing it down to where it belongs. MD belongs down there, not up here, not in my life. I'm lifting up, I'm lifting up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, bringing glory to his name. I am a conqueror in Christ Jesus, and so are you, which is why I want to finish with this fitting verse from Romans. No, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. But I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.